everyone it's another day and another thrift flip so i have this old georgette dupatta in like deep red color when i say it's old it's like really old because there is like a hole in it i like the color of it so i thought i might as well convert this into a dress the length of the dupatta is around 2.5 meters and the width is around 45 inches you can make this out of 2.25 or even 2 meters of dupatta since it's georgette fabric i'll be using a crepe lining underneath because i don't want to flash when i uploaded this tiered dress on instagram and also a video on a customized dress for a client uh, on youtube i got a lot of uh, messages on instagram asking me how to make it finally here you go Also I'm not using any pattern to make this dress so you can just follow along the video and make a dress for yourself as well. If you are not using a dupatta and if you want to do this out of you know fabric then you can pick up 3 meters so let's do this. The first measurement that I'm taking is the length of the bodice 8 inches. The next measurement that I'm going to take is across chest so that gives me around 10 and 1/2 inches. and then you can take the measurement of the arm dip so if the dress starts from here so i can take the arm dip to be 4 inches so you can take the full circumference of your chest mine is coming around 33 inches and then i'm going to take the measurement of the strap from where the strap starts till the shoulder and then you can add more i'm going to keep it around 20 inches of strap because i'll be tying it And the last measurement that I would need will be the length of the dress. So if I'm starting the dress from here and my bodice is eight inches, so I'm going to keep the length of my dress around twenty six inches. First, you're going to draw the length of your bodice. That will be eight inches. And then you're going to draw a line on top of that, which will be your across the chest. That will be ten and half. and then you're going to mark 4 inches down you're going to take your chest measurement plus add 4 inches for room space because i'm not adding zip that will be 37 you're going to divide that by 2 that will give you 18.5 inches so you're going to mark that 18.5 inches over here and then you're going to draw a curve line over here which will be the armhole and at the end of the 8 inches i'm going to draw a straight line and from the armhole i'm just going to tilt it by by just 1 inch so this is how your body is going to look like but you're going to add half an inch margin on the top and on the armhole and at the bottom on the sides you can add 2 inches of seam allowance so this is where you're going to cut it and then the strap that i would need will have a width of 1 inch and the length of 20 inches and then i'm also going to mark the margin for seam allowance i would need four straps for this dress The length of both the tiers will be 9 inches but the width of the first tier will be as much as your dupatta is and the width of the second tier will be double the length of your dupatta. First I'm going to cut out the lining for the front and the back bodice and then I'm going to place the lining fabric on the main fabric and then cut out the front and the back bodice. So after cutting the bodice I'm left with uh, this piece of fabric. So I'm going to cut straps over here so i have cut out four straps the tier i'm going to mark 9 inches plus 1 and 1/2 inches for the seam allowance and then cut it so this will be the first tier i'm going to cut out two more like first tiers and attach it together so it becomes a lengthier one and that will be the second tier let's make straps i folded it and pinned it up and stitched it over here
and then reversed the strap and then I did the same thing for the other three straps and then I pressed it and now I have four straps. I overlocked all the tears so that the thread doesn't come out. I have pinned the lining fabric to the main fabric. Now I'm gonna pin the straps. You're gonna leave half an inch on the sides and then pin the straps as shown in the video. Now I'm gonna stitch wherever I have pinned. And then I snipped it a bit around the armhole curve so that when I turn it, it will give a good finishing. Once that's done, I reversed it and pressed it. And then I put up a stitch at the bottom. I did the same thing for the back bodies as well. After that, I placed the front bodies and the back bodies together facing right sides together and then stitched it on the sides. Now I'm gonna put basting stitches on both the tiers on one side of the tier. So basically you're gonna put two stitches over here. Now I have put one basting stitch, I'm gonna put one more next to it so that it becomes easy for gathering. So I'm gonna take one thread from the top stitch and one thread from the bottom stitch. I'm gonna start gathering it. Now I'm gonna fold this in half. I've already cut out the lining for this. The length of the lining will be uh, as much as the length of your two tiers, minus one inch. You're gonna place the lining, the folded side on the folded side, and then you're gonna leave extra margin over here for the stitching, half an inch margin. And this will be your hip size plus three inches. I've cut out one more. This will be the front, and then this will be the back. Now we're gonna take both the lining. I aligned both the linings together and stitched on one side of it. And then I aligned the first tier to the lining and pinned it and stitched it. After that, I attached the second tier to the first tier. Once the second tier is attached, this is how it looks. It looks really cute already. Uh, so now I'm going to fold this and attach lining to the lining and the main fabric to the main fabric, pin it and then I'm going to stitch it. After that, I folded the edges of the main fabric and also the lining and stitched it. And the last step is to attach the bodies to the tear part and it will be ready.